So here's a pretty entertaining short story that I've been looking forward to covering ever since it was sent over to me. All about a young gal, the gal is actually the hero in this story, who handled things definitely like a boss, and I'm actually saying that, when her so-called friends at a bachelorette party tried to get her to cheat on her husband. All these gals at the bachelorette party who are older than her, you had the male dancer, and uh, the, one of the gals was uh, u using her mouth on the, the dancers, you know what, and they tried to force this girl to do the same thing. And oh, it did not end well for them. And let me tell you, hell hath no fury, but in this case, it was directed towards these a-hole gals. And this gal is someone that you can definitely be proud of, is old school values, traditional, and is definitely, uh, is presently making these cheaters' lives a living hell. And that'd be a great one to cover here. Titled, my friends tried pressuring me into servicing a dancer. They apologize. I don't know if I can forgive them. She says, uh, I'm from India and English is not my primary language. My husband is Latino and English is his second language, but he speaks it heaps and bounds better than I do. I forgot to include that he is 21 and she's 19 and they're married ridiculously young here, but she's got old fashioned values. So that says a lot. One of our friends who's 25 is getting married. I thought the bachelorette party was going to be chill with no dancers or anything like that, which is the only really re only reason I came. And to be honest, imagine my surprise when the dancer showed up in a policeman's uniform. She's from India, by the way, so she's here. And these are all American women. And I obviously grew up in a very traditional, cultural, good family, all that. In total, there were about seven people, including myself, at the, bachelor at the bachelorette party, not including the dancer. She says, uh, call me square and call me old fashioned, but the only man I want to see naked is the father of my kid or the baby I'm carrying. I excused myself to the bathroom because I didn't want to be rude and just leave. So I stayed in there for what I thought would take him to do his show. 30 minutes, I know, it's stupid. I came out after 30 minutes and the dude was naked and gyrating. His package was very hard and on, his, on this play. I turned to go back to the bathroom and my, friends, my, friends, my friend noticed me. She made a comment about me missing the show. I told her that isn't really for me and that I didn't want to be rude, so I'm just camping out back. She tells me not to be square and grabs my arm, trying to drag me back. I yank my arm away and tell her not to touch me like that and I'm just going to camp out in the bathroom. So even though this is not her thing, she didn't lecture all of them. She just went to the bathroom, hung out, came out later on, and then and the show's winding down. Now they're trying to get her, you know, to participate, if you will actually grabbing her and they're obviously all trash but that's no excuse that is when four of the girls either grabbed my arms or, or got, got behind me trying to push me towards the dancer the other friend got on her knees and was about to suck him off and she says like what i honestly thought the type of crap only happened in p-o-r-n and they said next it'll be your turn can you imagine how horrified this girl is that she's coming from she says she's from India, and obviously, now I'm not saying that any Indian gals don't get down and dirty, but you get my point. Obviously, was raised well and all that. And this is what, and they're being forcing her towards this. Ho oh. ho. I scream for them to let me the F go, or I'm calling the police. And I'm calling my fiance to come up, come kick this guy's ass if he touches me with his, with his package. Oh, it's his fiance. I don't know if the girls were just drunk or something, but they definitely so sobered up pretty quick and they let me go and the dude got soft. I grabbed my bag, left the party, and apparently the party ended right then and there because the mood was killed. Well, don't you feel bad about that. Good for you. Good for you for not participating in this and saying pretty much get that, get your hands off me and I'm out of here. They're a bunch of scumbags. But this doesn't surprise me in the least. They have crap that goes on at bachelorette parties. Uh, this was yesterday. I woke up to my phone being spammed by text messages. I was expecting for them to be telling me off about ruining the bachelor party. To my surprise, they were all apologies. You were getting apologies because they're scared out of their minds that you're going to go tell all their husbands, fiancés, boyfriends, all that. That's, that's why you're getting an apology. Apparently, after they sobered up and they all woke up this morning, they started remembering what they did last night and they felt so disgusted with themselves, one of the girls started to cry. They don't care. They're afraid of you uh, outing them. I can appreciate that they realize they definitely did something wrong while trying to pressure someone, engaged and pregnant no less, to suck a you-know-what. But I just don't know if I can forgive them. If this is what they, are, they like to do when they're drunk, I honestly don't know if I want to be associated with them. Right. I don't know how you met these gals anyway, but no. 
This is why I say, guys, uh, you know, you're the average of the people you spend time with and pay attention to your girl hangs out with. And this girl has learned real quick, uh-uh, I'm not going to associate with these assholes. And you know what? If she's with her fiancé and she's happy with him, then all, that's all she really needs is her husband and her child. Eventually, her, when the child's born, her family, his family, that's it. I said, hanging out with these scumbags. She says, can I forgive them? She says, yeah, my husband was absolutely furious when I told him. However, he was not mad at me. He knows uh, that this was not my fault. He was mad at my friends for putting me in this type of situation, especially when I'm pregnant with his child. Oh, if I was her husband not, or fiance, not that I would, be, I would be, but you know my point, I would be going uh, on the warpath. Oh, I would be reaching out to every single one of those guys, letting them know what their girlfriends and wives and fiancés were up to. Many people also point out the possibility that my friends might just be sucking up to me. <laughs> Sucking, interesting choice of words. So that I don't tell any of their husbands. That's what I said. I know how that may possibly, how that might be a possibility, and I'm contemplating texting them as they may have a right to know. Now for the update. She says here, sort of mini update, but with the help of my husband, I did. I formulated a text to send to the fiancé's husbands and boyfriends of the women at the bachelorette party. Oh boy. It is going to be a shit storm now, but good for her. These guys deserve to know who they're either involved with or married to. I don't know what to expect in terms of a follow-up, but I know it's going to be not going to be pretty. But it's what has to be done. If darn right, it has to be done. She continues on and says, Yes, I told each of the husbands, fiancés, and boyfriends. I'm starting to get sick and tired of all the literal death threats I'm receiving in the DM section of my decision to rate relay this information to their significant others. I don't care if I lose them as friends. If they don't turn their backs on me, I'm turning my back on them at this point. And I know for, for a fact that each of you would want somebody to tell you if your significant other was doing the same crap like that. Good for her. And so, of course, she because this has been multiple updates. She's actually getting people yelling at her, threatening her all for doing that. These are probably pissed off women that have done the same type of thing and think she's a snake for turning on them. These gals were not her friends. They're trying to force her to do, you know, what they were forcing her to try to do. Uh-uh. She owes them nothing. I don't feel as though I deserve to be told that myself, that my unborn baby and my life and my husband all deserve to die in a horrific car crash, all because I told the partners of some horrible and disgusting women who tried to get me assaulted and what they did at their bachelorette party. I thought this stuff would be helpful and I would get some good advice on how to deal with this. Instead, it's left me wanting to ghost from the internet. I will see if I can give this update in two days and after that I will deactivate this account. And she says here, also, some people honestly make me lose faith in humanity. Now, another update. She says, I got my answer, and I'm not overreacting. I'm going to be logging out of this account because the traffic is getting getting stories to get overwhelming. I'll be back in two days. Also, living in America and having a husband like mine has taught me to be strong and not take, not take keyboard warriors seriously, so I'm ignoring your threats. Bye, y'all. Thanks for the gold. Anyhow, good for her. You know, I'm sure it's been a complete mess now with those gals when they informed, she and her husband informed all of them what was going on. But sadly, probably some of those guys just caved and listened to all their crying and all that. But anyhow, it's rare in a situation like this that the girl's the hero. So good for her. It, 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 there was some hope in the world here. And she's 19. That's the interesting part about this. But again, she's not American. She was raised in India and obviously a very traditional cultural a, 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 a more traditional culture most of the time and a family that takes this stuff seriously. I mean, she could have been born in a family where if she were to pull crap like this, she would have been done, disowned, done, if not worse. So good for her and it's good to hear these types of things. And then she stayed loyal to her husband there. But this is why you got to pay attention to your girl hangs out with. And obviously in her situation, she's done with all of them. She might say, let's go back to India instead of being with these crazy Americans. Anyhow, that'd be a good one to cover here.